guys here, I'll be right back. Hi guys, it's Honey Bubba Bear. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today just marks history. I have never filmed a, or maybe I have. But today we're gonna be resetting my entire house for fall. Cleaning, decorating, I have some DIY Halloween decorations. I have been collecting things. I have a bucket right next to me that I've just been putting things in as I buy. This video is probably going to be one of my favorite videos I filmed this year. I promise you, you will get inspiration from this video because everything here is cute. And if you don't get any inspo, I'm sorry. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with my couch. Look how cute this is. He's looking. I've been going to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls for the last two months. I've probably gone more than that just to find this pillow and this blanket because I refuse to get it off Mercari. Some people just overcharge and I'm just trying to decorate my house for a reasonable price. You know, I'm not trying to pay $70 for a pillow. Eventually, I just gave up. Got mine for $80. Some of you are gonna get mad at me for doing this, but this is just not my style. The before and after. It's so cute. Simple, no extra detail, just straight to the point. This is the before of this one. Whoops, I think I went a little too far. I was gonna take these out too, but I'm gonna have my mom fix that. We're gonna pretend that's not there. Anyways, after. This ghost blanket is just so cute. Should I leave these on? If I remove them, it's like a permanent removal. I got these on Amazon. They're little pumpkins. I have another pillow coming from Crate and Barrel. It's a ghost pillow. His name is Gus. I wanted him last year, but it was sold out, so I made sure to get it early this year, and it comes October 4th. I will show you guys what that looks like on my Instagram. I'm doing a lot of giveaways for the end of the year, and I always do my giveaways on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me on there to keep up to date if you like that kind of stuff. I also post a lot of Hazel and cute pictures of me. So, yeah. These are the pillows. Kind of not giving pumpkin. Hold on. This is what they look like all puffed up. They are so cute. I think I'm gonna put one right here and then this one right where Hazel's sitting. I'll just put it next to her. So cute. I think I'm gonna put this in my office. Should I do the white one? If I did the white pillow, I would keep this white blanket here or this black pillow with this blanket. It's from Ikea. Let me know in the comments and I'll change it to whatever you guys think. These are little bats from Amazon. Stick them on your wall any way you want. I'm gonna put them above my TV. There's different sizes too. I'm gonna try to find a picture on Pinterest and replicate that because I really don't know how I'm gonna do this. Something like this. We'll see how it goes. It is 11 o'clock at night. I changed because we're gonna start the DIYs. Probably gonna be up till 3 a.m. doing these, but you know, that is the theme of my life. I have everything all neatly set up here because I'm also doing a TikTok at the same time. I'm gonna put all the supply for all of these DIYs on my Amazon storefront. I'm gonna start with the entryway mat. This one's from Amazon. And you just need paint. Make sure it says outdoor. This should be pretty easy. I hope I don't mess it up. Here's my outline. I'm realizing you have to use a lot of paint. A lot of it drips down into the middle, so you can't really spread it that evenly. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna take some black and clean up the edges a little bit. I'm gonna make it look like it's holding a pink pumpkin now. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Get this pink paint open. This is the cutest doormat. Oh my gosh. I'm DIYing my doormat from now on. Next, I'm making little mini ghosts. These two are going in front of my mirror and the mini one is going on my desk. I don't know if this is a good angle, but we're gonna try. Get some toothpicks. Just making this up in my head. Take the little ball things and just, oh, well, that's crooked. There we go. This one. I'm craving candy right now. Smarty has sent me a whole box of candy. Ah, hold on. I can make that. I can make The way I get distracted so easy. I definitely have a cavity. I got wing sauce on my other shirt, so I had to change into this one. This one's actually color changing. It's cold. Should change. Oh, it does change. It takes a minute. We're going to continue. Anyway, for the eyes, I just got a sheet of felt paper. All you do is put the blanket piece over. Glue on the eyes. Make sure I'm doing that right. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Okay. He's looking like I'm talking about her. I have to hold the pumpkin here just a minute and then I'll let go and it should stay. And there you have it, a little ghosty for your desk. He's so cute. I just filmed a TikTok making three of the DIYs I was gonna show you in this video, which I'm still gonna show you. This was one of the DIYs. I just bought some canvases from Michael's Drydex Plaster. It's already mixed for you. This one's still drying, you can kind of see, but it goes on pink and then it dries white. You really don't need a spatula, but if you want to, I think they're like $2. Spread this amount, probably use a little bit more, but cover the entire canvas. Once it looks like this, you can just take your hands and kind of put some on the edges. Okay, so I let this sit. I have no idea how to explain the next part, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna take a glob like this. You can use like a plastic spoon or something. I'm literally using the end of a paintbrush. Pick wherever you want your ghost to be. I wanted my ghost to be on the very bottom. Just put it down. Trace out where you want your ghost to be. Smooth this inside of your outline. And just kind of like make two eyes. That's literally all you do. Then you just wait for it to dry. And then if you want to paint it, you can, which I'm gonna paint it. So we'll come back to this one. Okay, next DIY. I feel like I've changed so much in this video. Every time you see me in something different, it's been a new day. I'm just in a little mood today. Every time I do like a deep clean or like a reset, I have so much motivation in the beginning. And then mid process, I'm like, why am I doing this? And there's more mess than I started with. I hope I don't get any of this on my hoodie. This is how they dried, by the way. I just 
just posted a TikTok and there's a lot of people asking why I don't have any color in my house. I just wanted to have a neutral fall this year. I really want to work on being more open on this channel, especially because I'm going to be posting a lot more. As you've seen, yes, I took a little month break. It wasn't really a break, just life happened. Being more open would allow me to post more. I love it when a creator opens up and talks about like things that are going on. It just makes me think about if this creator I love watching that I'm inspired by is also going through the same thing I am, like I feel seen and I feel heard. Like, it helps a lot. And I feel like it's been so hard for me to do that because it's different when you're talking to like a friend or a family member versus telling the entire world for everyone's opinions to be readily available just to read in the comments. I'd love to be able to tell you guys about my dating life, what I ate in the day, how I feel about this topic. The other day I was looking at my TikTok and I was like, wow, I moved a year ago. Never told you guys why. I wish I was comfortable enough to tell you guys why at the moment. I feel like I am very connected to you guys. I just feel like I could connect with you guys even more. I think I'm gonna do like a day in the life vlog at least once a month. This is mainly for the people who actually watch my content consistently. Like, would you guys watch that? Let me know. The moral of this section of the video, I just feel like I've built this giant platform with millions of people watching me every day. If not, I could help at least one person. I'm the worst at opening up and talking, but hopefully by doing this with you guys, I can work on it. Thank you for watching. Opening up with Honey Boba Bear. I'm not gonna call this ugly we're gonna call this art. Art is never perfect. This is what we call fine painting. I only used the finest of paints. How much do you think I could sell these for? <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I did to my kitchen island. Found this jar at Target. I just put candy corn on the inside. I love candy corn. Then I found this cute jar at Home Goods. I just put the Reese's Ghosts in here because I thought that'd be cute. You're supposed to put your sponges in here, but my sponge will not fit in there. This is soap and hand lotion. I got these at TJ Maxx as well. I'm giving you like a house tour kind of. And then when you turn, I just have this ghost cookie jar. That's about it. Oh, and then I found these coasters at TJ Maxx too. I think they're adorable. I think I'm gonna put them here. I have two chairs here. I'm gonna really quickly decorate the front entrance before the sun goes down. I am being reckless with this paint. You guys are currently on my white couch. Jeezy, that's fine. Don't mind if I say. That looks so much better. Kinda wanna paint it pink. Wait. And no mess. You can kind of see the bats on my TV too. Very cute. Okay, so this very quickly turned into a 3 a.m. video. I still have the entire upstairs to clean and redecorate. I'm going through Hazel's toys really quick. I'm gonna restock this with cute Halloween toys. Look how cute this is. It's a little campfire and a s'more. Love it. Dinosaur with a skeleton costume on. She loves this llama. This one is Halloween themed. It has a little witch hat, purple pumpkin, Snoopy with bat ears, his little house. And we're keeping this. It says Pada. I love it. Can I get a kiss? No kiss for me. <laughs> I told you guys she loves this toy. So everything's pretty much decorated. I'm gonna finish cleaning everything and then finally start upstairs. Maybe I'll put them up here so they're completely dry. Can you see? Oh yeah. You know what I mean? just broke a nail. We are just going to ignore the fact that I moved everything to the kitchen. I did it again. Look how much better the lighting is though. I actually want to show you my front entrance. It looks so much better in the daylight. So cute. Love it. Okay. So, I already lit them yesterday, but these smell so good. I got them at Target. This is what the pumpkins ended up looking like. These ones are kind of like an off-white. I may paint them all white. I went to Crate and Barrel, and I bought this plant. This plant originally was $200, so obviously I did not buy it. Two weeks later, I went back, and it was marked down. I think it was like $70, which is still really crazy for a plant. But I don't know. In my head, I saved like $130. Girl math. Anyways, every time I look at that plant, I think of that story. I needed to tell someone. I still have to finish my kitchen, so we're going to do that really quick. And then, yeah, let's do that. Okay, back in the kitchen. I have to show you the cute cups I found for this season. Obviously, you guys saw this one in my 3 a.m. purchases video. Now I can use this cup like every single day, which I will. Also, I think I told you guys, but broke my nail. This one will be linked on my Amazon storefront. I also have an entire section on my Amazon full of Halloween decor. So if you see anything you like in this video and you want to start decorating for Halloween, you can shop my storefront. It helps a lot. Found at Target. Look how cute! 
Cups. He's a little ghosty. I'm gonna name all my ghost cups. This one's gonna be Fred. If you follow me on Instagram, this one was in one of my recent posts. Found this cup at TJ Maxx. It's a little mummy. This is gonna be named. Mommy, I'm gonna close. They're doing construction outside of my place right now, and one of the guys was like looking in here, so. We're gonna close the window and to turn up the exposure. We don't need that window. These are little wine glasses, but I don't drink wine, you know, so I'm gonna use them for water. And the little ghosts are different, so that's really nice. I found the viral ghost cup. This one I found at Home Goods. I think I just broke it. Just saw this laying on the shelf. I think they had just put it out. These are kind of white because I'm washing my dishes right now. Found these two at Michael's. Found this one at Michael's too. I don't know why I thought I needed to. I drink a lot of hot chocolate in the winter, so then if I have anyone over, they have a lot of options. I'm not in the mood to wash my dishes right now, so I'm gonna leave them in there. Last thing I want to show you. Look how cute this candle is. So I went on the Lemon 8 to look for Halloween inspiration. This girl made a post of her TJ Maxx finds. This was in one of her pictures and I screenshotted it and I was like, if I don't find anything else, I must find this. Literally the first TJ Maxx I went to, this was sitting on the shelf just waiting for me to buy it. So I bought it and I'm never going to light this. It is staying like this forever. This candle is just going to chill over here. I have my matches, my mugs. I need to clean this section. I need to wipe this section down. So let's do that and then we will be done. Look how cute this is. I got it on Amazon and I use it as a spoon rest. It just sits right there. It's a little cloud, but when I'm cooking, which I don't really cook, but when I do, boom, that's where the spoon goes. I know I said I wasn't gonna do the dishes, but this is a fall reset video. I literally had to tell myself, what are you doing? And now I have a clean kitchen. Ow. Ah. Ah. Anyways. And now we can finally start upstairs. I'm kind of hungry though, so I think I'm gonna order some food and then we'll start upstairs. This video is sponsored by DoorDash. I'm just kidding. Please. If anyone on the DoorDash team is watching this, please let's connect because the amount of times I use DoorDash is ridiculous. I just love the service so much. It's so convenient. I am a ride or die for some DoorDash. Uber Eats, if the Uber Eats team wants to reach out, let me know too, you know? So anyways, did Chick-fil-A last time, and we're doing it again because I love Chick-fil-A. Okay, not too bad. Leave a good tip. Time to take my picture. Okay, it is on the way. Hazel's hair on my lip gloss. That's the thing about Shiba Inus, they shed so much. I can make a whole other Hazel just by her extra hair. While that's on the way, we're gonna clean and decorate upstairs. Let's go. I actually can't mop because I forgot to pick up more pads, but I got this new mop. It's the Swiffer Power Mop. I actually did a brand deal with them on TikTok, and what a dream, like, to be working with Swiffer. That was amazing. I genuinely love them. I have to pick up some more pads, but if you haven't tried this mop, I would try it. It is a lot longer than the normal, hold on, let me show you. A little bit longer than the normal Swiffer pad. This is good for like everyday use, just kind of dusting, picking things up. This one's good if you're actually wanting to like get a deep clean. So me saying all this is not sponsored at the moment. I did my sponsored video on TikTok. It's already up if you guys want to watch it. I just genuinely love this brand. I love this mop and I just wanted to talk about it. Pretend I'm running upstairs. Here, see how many I can go up. I really feel like I can do four. <laughs> okay. Oh, I did it. Okay, this is like a music video. I'm like, to die for money. Imagine I just like hit my head on the mirror. Actually, like, wait, like, why does this look so good? Somebody screenshot. Oh. <laughs> Please don't do that. It has arrived. Why am I eating on my floor? I don't know. Hazel has food downstairs, by the way, so don't let her fool you. She. I feel so bad eating in front of her. I can eat in the same room as her, but when she's like right here staring at me, I feel very bad. Okay, I just put her outside. Not outside, but you know what I mean, like out the door. This is so good. Dun da da da. A spicy deluxe sandwich. I love the way food looks on camera. I just want to eat it through this grate. Okay, I just finished, and now I'm gonna clean my room. So yeah, please enjoy that. show everyone there okay yeah i love the black and white this nightstand i'm just doing this cute little bat tray keeping everything else the same my lights fell i was afraid they were gonna follow me while i was sleeping so i just put them under my bed for now 
I'm so happy these are back up. I will also link these on my storefront. I buy a lot from Amazon, so if you like something, nine times out of 10, it'll be on my storefront. So always check there first, comment too. And if I see it, I will let you know where things are from. But yeah. Okay, so my room is pretty much clean. Let's work on the bathroom now. Ugh. Hi, mama. This is all I wanted. Oh, my little fox. Okay, we're gonna very slowly get off mommy's chest, okay? Because sometimes you go a little crazy and then you jump off. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Go get it. This la. What's the one song? <laughs> I could be complex. I could be cool. Oh, I could do tube girl right now. Ready? I'm a first lady of juicy guitar. <laughs> I don't even know the words. Oh my gosh, I'm procrastinating. Okay, let's clean this bathroom. It's already pretty much decorated, so I'm just gonna show you what I got. All of these things are from Amazon, except these towels I'm gonna show you. Super cute. This one has the dark fringe on the bottom, and then this one has like a light one. I got this really cute bat one, love it. This is the second one, it has like three little ghosts on it. This is probably my favorite one. Well, I don't know, that one's probably. This one I just keep in front of my shower. It's really dirty right now, I need to clean it. I just think it's so cute, and it matches my cup and pretty much everything in my house, because everything in my house right now is ghost themed. I am gonna add this little pumpkin on the side here. Here. I just got a random urge to go to Target before they close. I'm gonna go do that and then when I come back We're gonna do a little Target haul and decorate my office and my beauty room. Okay, I'm back This is probably one of my favorite rooms in my house other than my closet and my bedroom and my kitchen <laughs> Like I just love this place. We have tampons the super tampons this year My period has been so heavy. I just get these now. I used to get the Tampax ones I don't know. I saw Madison beer using these or something. I don't know some celebrity So now I use them because they're organic. I don't know got these crest 3d white Oh, also my nails all eventually fell off. My thumbs always come off last. I don't know why, but anyway, pressed whitening strips, toothbrushes, and a makeup wipe. I used to use the blue ones, but they burned my eyes, and then I found these, and they literally don't burn. They don't irritate my skin, so I love those. Look how cute this claw clip is. It looks like a little squiggle. I thought it was adorable. I'm in love with these bracelets. They're from the Little Word Project. I'm glad to see that they have new ones. Like, this one says iconic, ride or die. The reason I buy these, I keep some in my purse, and if I see you guys out in public, I will give you one. I just think they're so fun to, like, pass along like cute little messages. I'm gonna keep this one just because it's so cute and I love the colors. My sister's birthday is coming up and I'm starting to collect things for her birthday. I just thought this was so cute. It has the little butterflies and it says sisters and I love that because it's like I'm the bigger butterfly and she's the baby butterfly because she's my baby sister. So I thought that was super cute. I've been wanting to get these. They're literally sitting in my Amazon cart right now. I decided just to pick them up but they're the Bala, Bala bangles. I don't know how to say that right. They look like this. You can put it around your wrist. You can put it around your ankles and then I also got just the hand weights. It's this really cute bubblegum pink. Yeah, they just look like this. Just do like my at-home workouts. Yeah. <laughs> Sit. Wait. I'm gonna give it... Ah! <laughs> no! Correct with a toy. <laughs> Let's clean my room now. I'm gonna apologize right now if you see anything that's just disgusting, like this old makeup wipe. Okay, so I got these affirmation cards from Typo. I think for every video, I'm gonna pull one for you and this will just be our affirmation for the day. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. So today's affirmation for you and me is a daily reminder I'm doing me. This one means a lot to me because I am doing me. I'm trying to focus on myself and focus on my mental health just to give myself the self-love I deserve. That is really powerful, I love that. So hopefully that means something to you as well. Okay, this room is finally clean-ish. Now I'm gonna decorate it. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of my office. It's almost done. I have a whole redecorating and resetting my office video coming for you very, very soon, but you know, let's just tease my office a little bit and sit in here and give you a little Sephora and Ulta haul because I got distracted yesterday. This is probably gonna be the longest video I have on my channel, but it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna start with Sephora. So in my everything shower video, I told you guys how much I loved Fable and Maid. I decided to get their shampoo and conditioner. Like this stuff just smells really good. The only downside to this is a pretty small bottle. Hopefully this lasts me. I did pick up a bunch of lip products I don't know what it is. I use them all the time, all throughout the day. So I just stock up. I feel like you could have no makeup on. If your lips look juicy, then 
you look put together. Right now I'm wearing this one. It's the Your Addict Lip Glow in the color Cherry. Forget the filler lip plumping line smoothing gloss. This is a restock of the one I'm out of. Look at the applicator. It fits right over your lips. Love the shade of this one and I like how it plumps my lips. It doesn't hurt. It just has like a cool feeling. I picked up this Laneige mask. This one's the peppermint one. I love these lip masks. They come with this cute little spatula thing. I had to restock on the In Beauty lip glosses. These lip glosses are my favorite, especially this one. I'm not even kidding. I probably have like six of them just laying around in different places. One in my car, one in my beauty room, one in my makeup bag, like literally everywhere because this is amazing. How to restock all my favorite eye masks. I also got some Charlotte Tilbury lip products. Restocking on these two shades. Walk of No Shame Superstar Lip. I think this is a lip balm. Mm. I think it's a very pretty fall shade. I love this so much, actually. The same shade in the collagen bag. I don't understand their applicator. It's really cute, don't get me wrong. It looks like a heart. <laughs> so restocking all my Rare Beauty highlighter. This is in the shade Exhilarate. Hold on. Okay, can you see that? No, you can't. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I love the shade so much. This is something new I'm trying. I love all the Patrick Ta blushes. So I wanted to try this bronzer and contour duo. Contour is on the top, bronzer on the bottom. I think this is the perfect shade for me. But I love Patrick Ta. Like, so good. This mascara, I tried the travel size. This is fantasized by One Size Beauty, you guys. If you have not tried this mascara, go and try this mascara. You will throw away whatever mascara you're using right now. I prom, okay, I don't promise you that. But look how cute. I'm wearing it right now, actually. We won't use this as an example because this is like a day old. I slept in my makeup. It coats every lash beautifully and it doesn't look clumpy either that's the applicator sometimes mascaras have like a strong chemical scent i don't know if anyone cares but if you do this doesn't lastly i got this makeup brush cleaning kit now we're doing ulta i don't know what the heck this is i think it's a cream i tried the sample in store and it made my skin feel so good this is what it looks like so yeah you probably can't see that my skin is so dry so a lot of the lotions just kind of like sit on my skin like my skin does not absorb it this goes right in i instantly feel moisturized and it's really cute packaging you can reuse the jar I did not need this but i bought it because, you know, self-care. I don't know. <laughs> this part goes here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm way too lazy to grab scissors. Build your immune system this way. That was my little self-care and makeup haul. I do want to show you a PR package I got from Poppy. Probably one of my favorite PR packages I've ever received. It is so cute. Let me get it. Ugh, it's really heavy. And Poppy, if you're watching this, I literally love you guys so much. I have like a genuine love for this brand. Like I just love them. I love what they do. I love their sodas. My favorite is the Doc Pop. Out of these, I would say orange and raspberry. Pull the drawer open. Poppy sock, long poppy socks. A sweatshirt it says, shut up, I'm drinking soda on the back. Comes with sweat shorts too. Whoever designed these needs a raise ASAP because these are so cute. Thank you Poppy for that. One thing I want to do this fall is after I'm done with my morning routine, I want to exercise at least for an hour, putting on a video and doing an at-home workout, just something to get my body going. If I do that at the start of my day, I feel like I would have more energy and I don't feel like I'd have to rely on like a coffee or something. I want to cut back a little bit. I drink it so much that when I drink coffee, it makes me tired. I looked it up and apparently that happens when your immune system gets accustomed to a drinking coffee all the time. It actually makes you tired. I have my yoga mat here. This one's from Lululemon. I already have like my main workout area downstairs. Stairs. I'm gonna keep this here in the corner just so that it's there. I wake up, pull it out, and then turn on a video. I wanna show you a few things I got from Lush, so let's go to my bathroom. This is what my bathroom looks like without any of the cute lights on. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is so much better. I don't know. The vibe of being in here is these LED lights. This is the first bath bomb. It's a little ghost, super cute. When you put it in the water, different colors will come out. This pumpkin one, I think it's just so cute. This one's a little bag. It has like, I don't know if you can kind of see that. It has glitter in it. And don't even get me started on my closet. Part of my fall reset thing that I'm doing, I want to declutter my entire house. So I'm gonna be doing that in bits and pieces. For example, I'm gonna start with my closet and we're gonna declutter it. That's gonna be a whole separate video because it's gonna take me forever. Then I need to declutter my kitchen, my Starbucks cups, my beauty room. There's just so many things I need to declutter. So make sure you're subscribed to see all of those videos. But my house is clean. I have candles going and it finally feels like fall now that everything is decorated. I hope that this video inspires you to decorate for fall or Halloween and clean your space, whether it's your room, your house, your apartment, whatever it may be. And if you stay till the end of the video, comment ghosty. Because I'm pretty sure I've said that without even realizing it and it's really embarrassing. So comment ghosty. Also, if you like giveaways, be sure to follow my Instagram. I'm about to hit 10 million on TikTok. It is going to be my favorite giveaway I 
I've ever done. Anyway, be sure to follow me on there. Like I say in every single video, thank you guys so, so much for watching and just being here. Like you have no idea the impact you guys made on my life and it's just amazing and it's beautiful and I'm just so, so, so grateful. That is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.